Hey guys, this is a video recording for Service Genie by AppScript.com. So our objective to have Service Genie develop is to have to have a platform where we can have various services of different markets in one solution. So let us see how this works. Towards your left, you see the customer application and towards your right is the provider application. So let's get started here. As you can see, we can enter the application without signing up. And this is great so that the customer can have the feel and look of the application before they decide if they want to sign up or not. And it, it, is, it encourages them to you know, sign up or sign in to book a particular service. So you must notice how we do this sort of setup of various markets like for your kids, health services and categories under it. We set it up on city basis or zone basis and, and it can be done differently for different zones. If you do not do it, it will not show it to you. Let me give you an example here. Like right now in Glasgow, we haven't done a setup. So this is what will show there. Currently we are in Bangor. And you can see that we have a setup here and this is how it shows. Now for your kids, health services, vehicles, home services, spares, all of these become your business groups under which we create categories. Now this is about and you can show your recommended services right here. So before we continue with the booking, let's just go through the provider application quickly and then we can see how both of them work together simultaneously. So if you want to sign up here, these are some mandatory information like the name, email, ID, city. And city is important because according to that, their services are listed and, you know, they can choose what according to their expertise. But now I already have a login credential, so I'm going to log in from here. So let's do this. I say... Korean web at the rate gmail.com Korean web zero zero seven and there you go. This is our um, provider application over here. Let's see the profile. His name is Edwin Thomas. These are his details that we have. You can log in or log out from here. And you can even see the categories he signed up for. So according to that is what I'm going to show you and explain detail, explain this app to you. So now say, um, let's choose a category here and say tutor. So in case of tutor, I say I want to book somebody for next week. All right, it's a single schedule, schedule single ship. So let's see whether he's a tutor. He's a tutor right here. And in case of schedule, we have to make sure that Edwin has created his schedule here. So when we click here, yes, we do see schedules created and we do show. So if I go in the 17th, it's showing me from 4.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. is when he's created his schedule. Now, if I want to add schedules, I could add it from here by either putting the repeat schedule, how often do you want it repeated, uh, the day, so say if I select Wednesday, weekend, weekdays, it will show me these days, duration for how long, and if you want to custom date it, you may, and let's say you want, let's say you want this for two months, you can select start time of say 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. address we are going to put our office address and let's confirm that so you see that now we should have bookings from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. as well all right so now that we have that we have created schedule for Edwin, let us see if he receives a booking or not. Oops, I forgot to put in my details here. Let's have it for the 17th. Start time. 5.30 p.m. 
selected let's have a schedule of say one hour done okay confirm so once you confirm it shows you the available providers for that particular day we have edwin thomas here he's offline so right now this dot is showing as gray if i go online it should update the status there you go he's shown online so if i go here i can see his details right here and book edwin it's asked me to log in now since i did not log in and i went with the flow and i really want to book edwin it makes me sign up or log in so since i already have the credentials let me just use them and get into the app and you see there's a help with password option so basically what that does is if you've forgotten your password you can have it reset either with your mobile number through a verification code or your email you will receive a reset link let's log in there you go so we go in here tutor single shift again let's select our date for the 17th 5 30 p.m and for one hour confirm and book so yeah edwin book edwin and post my job and we see that he has received a booking you saw the notifications that the guys get when they have re received a booking you click on this it shows you the details the time 17th october 5 30 pm the amount how long and how you have decided to make the payment we accept it go to my projects and we see that for 17th 400 it has been booked already and accepted so that is how we make a booking for schedule shift so the so for tutor like you saw we were able to see the provider and we set an early price so basically we call it the marketplace model as a service type where you can view your providers and the billing strategy would be early since you're viewing them on early basis again we have set this on the admin panel so depending on the nature of your market or the nature of your business you can set it up we can even have marketplace set up on basis of fixed pricing as well so if you look at babysitter i confirm for now they're not available as of now but they do show 60 per hour so this is on early basis again that was my mistake right there and let's see something on on fixed basis let's take massage for a schedule shift you confirm oops again I forgot to put in the details let's have a 13th select 1 11 let's have it for 1 p.m. duration one hour select confirm and they show us providers here available now once you confirm them let's book and it shows you on hourly as well as fixed so this becomes marketplace where you can see the provider and you can even have an either booked on early basis or fixed pricing again that is done from the back end i will definitely have a video on how do we set up on the back end so that you can relate to this better 
So again, marketplace is where you can see your providers and you would want to choose in certain categories like a tutor or the babysitter since it's dealing with your child. Then we have another sort of service type which is your on-demand service where it really doesn't matter who comes and does the job like you have a cleaner, plumber, electrician, pest control, it really doesn't matter who comes and does it. So let's choose plumber. Let's first check if Edwin is a plumber, yes. So he will definitely receive the booking for now, for one hour, confirm. We see these are only fixed services. So this is basically on demand uh, service type with billing strategy of fixed services. We take the details, get in. They do not show us the providers here. Like I said, it really doesn't matter who the provider is. Shows you the billing details right here. You have any coupon, you could apply it. Post a job and see he has received a booking. So if I go over here in offers, he has received a booking for now. Accept and then it goes again into my project for this. Let's have, and this goes into assigned for the customer and you can see it's on the basis of calendar so today 12th we, these are the two bookings that we have for today let's let's just complete a booking and see how the flow goes so you see he's arrived on the location the status updates on real-time basis right you can see he's on the way and you can even see him on the map here since my location of Location of my provider and customer is the same. It's showing a estimate of one minute of distance. Once he's, oops, sorry. Once he's arrived, there you go. You know he has arrived. Now he's on the way. Sorry. The job has started. We have the timer here. You see, you pause the timer. You can pause it if he wants to take a break. And if he wants to get back to working, he can get back. And they start the thing. You can view his profile right here. Go back. And job has been completed so yeah these are the details of the job and say the job has been completed and say say he had to add extra sharpening okay and he is had to charge around 200 for it he can add new items here and confirm the services once it is confirmed you can even sign it and raise the invoice. You can see his information here that he has raised the, the receipt. You can check the receipts in the customer application, all the signatures done, whatever has been agreed uh, uh, with the customer as well as provider. You can put your rating here. And submit and that is how a booking flow is completed generally once the booking is booked it's the same for every flow so that was our on demand with fixed pricing that is how it would work in case of book now and there is something else that we have here which is very interesting let me show that to you as well Let us see which other category do we have here. Let's do it for massage. Massage. Oh, here you go. You say you want to schedule this month. Next. 
every Saturday next from 12 p.m. from say 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. 2 hours so 3 p.m. So we see there are two shifts and there and we have these offers which can be set up from the back end. Now since we have two shifts, the 25% buffer should be applicable. And if we confirm this, it does show us admin. So let's book him right here. We book him for fixed services. And over here it gives you so it's showing 900. All right, there are two shifts 675 per shift, and this thing. So you're basically getting your discount of 20 45 percent here, hence, it is a deduction. And if you see as a user, it gives me an idea on how it's benefiting me to do multiple shifts because I'm getting a 45 percent discount at the same time you as a business you'll be getting bulk bookings as much as possible so let's have this posted yes we have received the booking let's go to my leads offers there we go so it gives us this information we selected three shifts giving us what exactly discount of how much except it goes into my project so it creates two bookings for 13th and the 20th and the 27th for three Fridays right here and if I go to assign it will show me for this week there you go massage 20th it shows me and 27th it shows me here and if I come back here it shows me so basically you can have multiple bookings done and the user need not book every time that they need a booking they can just do the multiple schedule and you make sure that the provider gets there so that is the advantage of multiple shifts you get bulk booking you have your you can have the booking done at one go you need not do multiple bookings for multiple times for the same category and at the same time it helps it even gives more opportunity to the provider as well 